Hallo Internet. Hier ist wieder Beckenzack für euch. Und willkommen zum nächsten Teil von meinem Let's Play zu Artufu Boyfriend Holiday Star. Ja, im letzten Teil ähm, haben wir einen epischen Kampf gegen einen Panzer gehabt. Bei dem äh, wir gemerkt haben, dass Highschool-Schüler ähm, die Vögel sind, anscheinend es für selbstverständlich betrachten, wenn man Sniper-Rifle zu Hause hat. Okay. <lacht> Hätten wir das auch geklärt. Ähm, ich habe tatsächlich das Gefühl, dass wir uns schon dem Ende nähern. Denn der letzte Part war auch sehr lang. <lacht> Aber ich bin gespannt, was äh, jetzt passiert, wo wir die bösen, bösen Weihnachtsdiebe geschnappt haben. And so our freezing midnight war came to an end of sorts. Accept your fate, Christmas thieves. You've nowhere left to run. Now identify yourselves. Merry Christmas. You, you won't get to go home any quicker by looking sad. What are your names? Miru. Kaku! <lacht> Natürlich heißt das eine Kaku. Merry Christmas! Miru and Kaku! Achso, Entschuldigung, das war ja jetzt ich. <lacht> Scheiße. Ja, das ist dieser hypnotisierende, ähm, diese hypnotisierende GIF-Animation hat mich leider abgelenkt. Aber mir fällt gerade auf, guckt mal bitte auf das äh, linke Bein, von uns aus gesehen, des vorderen Vogels. Hat der da einen Fußring? Sehr modebewusstes weiße Pummelding, was auch immer das sein soll. Miru and Kaku, that's all. Why did you two, uh, why did you two do all this? Quite frankly, I don't give a hoot about Christmas, and as far as I'm concerned, it's just so much capitalist, commercialized rubbish. But there are plenty of birds who really care about it. It's not nice to run their fun. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas is all Miro and Kaku have. Merry Christmas. Christmas is ingrained into Miro and Kaku's very instincts. Okay. Boah. Eine, 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 ein Labor. Ein Hightech-Labor. They told Miro and Kaku they were never meant to be born. No one was to give them life, but they were born. On Christmas Eve. Holy shit. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? Because, because they weren't meant to be born, they had to be removed. So Miru and Kaku were abandoned. Miru and Kaku aren't real. Miru and Kaku are alive. But Miru and Kaku are different. So Miru and Kaku couldn't be put aside. <laughs> But Miru and Kaku couldn't stay, so Miru and Kaku were going to be burned. Boah, das ist auf einmal ganz schön, ganz schön heftig hier. So Miru and Kaku said goodbye. Miru and Kaku said goodbye to their home. What the fuck? I thought they looked more like some sort of strange mammals than like birds, but I never would have guessed they had a backstory like that. It's too cruel, Doctor! to create pitiful hybrid beings in your mad sci scientist experiments and then to try to kill them. Maybe you felt your creation violated the laws of nature. But artificial creatures are still alive, just like us. They have the right to... Please do not misunderstand. I am not responsible for their creation. What? He's not? I thought I was being clever, but I think I've made a terrible mistake. <lacht> ja, da hat er wohl äh, ein bisschen zu vorschnell geurteilt. Merry Christmas! Mira and Kaku's daddy was a merry daddy. <lacht> oh, I'm a merry daddy. He liked parties. Merry, merry Christmas! Daddy celebrated all through December, especially Christmas. They look excited to the point of getting their memories mixed up. It is. A story from long ago. An accident in a certain lab caused the birth of two hybrid life forms. None of the researchers had expected their creation. At first, 
The new life forms were hoped to hold great scientific value, but they soon proved to be almost identical to existing birds. Entschuldigung. Aber wenn ich hier meine Growly Voice mache bei dem dicken Vogel, da kommt tatsächlich immer so ein bisschen ähm, Schmock in meinen Hals. Okay, also er sagt jetzt, dass das fast identische, oder dass sie fast so waren wie bereits existierende Vögel. Ich bin ja jetzt kein Ornithologe, aber die beiden sehen mir nicht aus wie bereits existierende Vögel. <lacht> Once the investigation was complete, they were to be disposed of. But there was one researcher who acted irresponsibly. The researcher was charged with taking care of them. Oh, es ist bestimmt unser dicker cheap cheap vogel gewesen, was? May I ask what you intend to do with them? Do you need to ask? They will be tried in the court of law, naturally. But they're unidentified creatures, born of the excess of modern science. Can they even have trials? <laughs> She blinded me with science. <laughs> the law only co covers humans and birds. Even if they look like birds, I don't think they can. So then... They don't have the right to be tried by law. All they can do is wait to be called. Uh. I object! They may have done some bad things, but nobody was badly injured. The worst was you just burn. We can't just kill them. I have a proposal, Mr. Shirogane. Yes, Dr. Iwamine. Shall I take them? You what? We can't, Sakuya. Giving them to him is sending them to a fate worse than death, no matter how you look at it. Please. Do not be so agitated. I have no intention of harming them. Just yet. <laughs> in other words, you probably will later. If you are willing to take them in. Ah, ich mix hier die Stimmen durcheinander, Entschuldigung. <laughs> If you are willing to take them in, sir, I have no objections. Be respectful towards Dr. Ivamina, you two. Rapscallion? Was ist das denn? <lacht> Rapscallions! Das muss ich nachher mal googeln. Merry Christmas! I make sure to tell us where you hit Mr. Udo Shihada's Christmas tree, okay? Merry Christmas! And so, with the help of Dr. Iwamine and Juja, we, catch up the, we captured the Christmas thieves, Mira and Kaku. No one need fear for their For there, there, decorations again? Is that just a schreibfehler or is that just some kind of Redewendung that I don't know? No one need fear for there, there, decorations again. No, I think that's a schreibfehler. <laughs> But why was the doctor so happy to help? He didn't even ask for compensation. Normally he would have asked for something. Help will be one leg, please. <laughs> Whoa, Alter! Maybe it was his idea of Christmas presents? Oh, 3 a.m. already? That's way too late. We got them to tell us where the stolen trees are, so I should go home to eat Udon and sleep. Was sollte ich sonst essen, wenn ich eine Udon-Suppe? Miru, Kaku, you still have your caretaker rings from the lab, yes? Oh, der Fußring, der mir gerade sogar aufgefallen ist, wird jetzt sogar in die Story eingebaut. Ich bin gespannt. Merry Christmas! Can't take a, can't take a look. Let me see. Hmm. <laughs> Ryuji K. Ja, was für ein hässliches Ding. <laughs> you, uh, you never did leave anything behind but trouble. Uh, sie kannten sich also. Mr. Urushihara, you got your Christmas tree back. Oh my, oh my, thank you. It really is calming to look at, isn't it? 
I'm so glad yours is intact. Sakuya's was completely incinerated. At least the big tree Sakuya had home was saved. I guess that's some sort of consolation. And that's the end of the investigate. Oh, surely we And that's the end of the investigation. I'm looking forward to working here over the break. But of course. I am pleased to have you. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. I got the rest of the trees back to the owners and now I'm feeling cheerful. Ich hoffe, wir kriegen jetzt irgendeine krasse Christmas Party mit einem Vögelchen, ansonsten bin ich enttäuscht. <laughs> Christmas only comes once a year. I want to spend it having fun with everybody. Winter break starts tomorrow too. I'm excited just thinking about it. What happened to Miro and Kaku anyway? Did the doctor take them to his house? That seems pretty cute. Dr. Vimine living with the seasonal mascot characters. <laughs> no, it's too surreal. I can't imagine it. Bin ich der Einzige, der da gerade an irgendwas Pädophiles denkt? I do wonder though, I think I'll ask the doctor before break starts. Jetzt bin ich mal gespannt. Excuse me. Oh, er hat sogar, sogar kleine äh, 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 Weihnachtskügelchen. <lacht> the infirmary is transformed. S Sir, what happened? Are you actually even more enthusiastic about Christmas than Sakuya? <lacht> es hat halt ein kleines Weihnachtsmannmützchen auf. Mm, mm, mm. I have no fondness for superstition. Have I not mentioned before? The doctor is transformed too. Maybe it's protective camouflage. <lacht> so, what happened to you? Don't tell me you finally got that lobotomy. <lacht> what? Ja, er wollte schon immer eine Lobotomy machen lassen. <lacht> They always give me another. As soon as I've taken it off. It is easier to work if I leave it on. Ah, ich hoffe er meint die Weihnachtsmütze, nicht die Lobotomie. <laughs> They, so, Miru and Kaku are... Merry Christmas! They're here! You're keeping them in here, sir? Yes. They would only get in the way at my house. Not if they don't get in the way here. Grumpy as usual. He seems to be putting up with them so far, but he hardly looks happy about it. I wouldn't count on their heads staying attached for much longer. They should... Oh. They should calm down after the new year. They are mostly excited by Christmas, after all. You don't think you're pushing yourself too hard, sir? What do you mean? Maybe I'm imagining it, but you don't quite look like you mean it, sir. It is your imagination. <laughs> it is tiring to have them in here all the time. Perhaps I should make a patch for them outside. It doesn't look like he's using them for the research. What is he thinking? He's treating them awfully nicely though. I have never seen him act that nice. Maybe he likes cute animals? I'm going home now, Doctor. Thank you for everything this year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year! Hey, das hat sich gereimt. <lacht> Thank you. Merry Christmas! Boah, die beiden gehen mir jetzt sowas von auf den Sack, ne? Noch mehr als vorher, natürlich. Christmas Eve Attack. Finn. Ist das jetzt der... Der Endscreen? <lacht> Was das jetzt etwa? Are you fucking kidding me? Leck mich doch am Arsch! Das kann doch nicht deren Ernst sein! Ganz ehrlich, wie oft habe ich tatsächlich eine Entscheidung getroffen? Tatsächlich nur einmal, oder? Ich habe doch wirklich nur im Einkaufszentrum gesagt, wo wir hingehen wollen. <lacht> Scheiße, ist das schlecht! Oh mein Gott! Unfassbar schlecht. <lacht> oh Mann. Ich hätte mir jetzt eigentlich noch ein bisschen mehr crazy shit erwartet. Ja, hätte ich das gewusst, dann hätte ich das einfach noch an den vorigen Part dran geklatscht. <lacht> ja, okay. Gut, Leute. Das war Hatte für Boyfriend Holiday Star. 
Ich denke, wir haben wieder einiges über Vögelchen gelernt. Und um das äh, Holiday-Verhalten. <lacht> um die Feiertage herum. Es hat uns wieder ein paar sehr nette Einblicke in das Vogelleben verschafft. Und ähm, ja, ich denke, ich denke, Head of a Boyfriend Holiday Star ist definitiv ein Kandidat für das Game of the Year 2016. Wenn ich das... Was dann? Bei etwa Final Fantasy 15, was rauskommen soll? Ha, nee, ich bitte euch. Half-Life 3? Nein. Nein, Head of a Boyfriend Holiday Star. Ja, wie man einfach ein Spiel ähm, mit nur einer einzigen, tatsächlich zwei Sekunden andauernden Gameplay-Interaktion so gut machen kann. Das weiß ich nicht. Aber hey, die haben es geschafft. Nicht? Okay, gut. Haben wir das jetzt auch? <lacht> ich weiß gar nicht. Der Part ist jetzt zehn Minuten lang, wenn es hochkommt. Ich weiß es nicht. Aber gut, okay. Es gibt eigentlich nichts mehr zu sagen, meine kleinen Vögelchen. Äh, ich freue mich auf das nächste Let's Play. Ich hoffe, ich muss nie wieder Hard of a Boyfriend spielen. <lacht> Wenn mir das keiner giftet auf Steam, werde ich das auch nicht mehr spielen. Aber gut. Bis zum nächsten Mal sage ich Tschö mit Ö. Ich bedanke mich und hauen Sie Bounce!